alumni fellow car modelers, how are you doing today? Hey, we've got an update on a past video we did because a great new product just came out. I got it in the mail and I want to share that with you. So back at that video that I made showing how you can take the uh, Monte Carlo SS, the NASCAR Monte Carlo SS nose and make it a little more realistic by removing this piece that um, Monogram gave you and now Salvino's gives you in their versions of these kits. It was just a screen. It just looked like a screen. It was just off the chrome tree and just an insert you popped in there. And this one doesn't want to go back in. It rejects it. The nose rejects it. Well, in that video, I covered how you could take a piece from the streetcar kit and grind it out and then pop it into here and then put some screen over it and then you would get that look. There was what the cars really were is they had the stock grill and they would put screen over them. So if the sun would hit it right, you could really see that look. And thanks to the incredible box art on one of the latest kits from Salvino's JR, the AJ Foyt Lonnie car, everybody could get a really good shot of what it would look like if you could see that grill behind the screen so I did a video on how to do that because I've kind of done that in the past but because of a bunch of requests that Jim from Salvino's the designer he wanted to uh, help everybody else and he 3d printed these grills to replace the inserts and we're gonna try it out and these are right out of his printer. He's got one that's a kind of a silverish, and most of the time they come like this with a kind of a transparent clear. But no matter, we're gonna we're gonna paint these things. And if this is how it comes. It's all you know comes off the printer that way. You just got to cut it away from these little uh, sprues or, or sticks or whatever I, whatever they're called. <laughs> the supports and we are going to show you how we're going to put it in this old nose right here to give you a better look i think this is a much better way of doing it than in my last video because now as you can see these are completely see-through and i'll go ahead and start cutting on this one it's really easy i'm just gonna take my exacto knife and just go zip and remove it and release it from its binds and look at that you can see totally see-through so oh, it's backwards there we go so by the looks of it, it goes in like that see how it fits what you have to do actually it fits in there pretty perfect because you know he, he went right off the, the the dimensions of that piece that was originally in there from the kit he totally followed that and made it the right and you can see that look at that totally right on so that should be a perfect fit but it's thick all right and um, what you want to do you'd want to do this anyways we're going to remove that get my trusty dusty dusty little dremel out here I just put a bit in it like that and I go to town I'm going to drill a pilot hole to get things started right about there This is just my way of hogging this thing out. It works out really well. I go from behind. Okay. And I just grind it away. Wear safety glasses. You got hot plastic flying all over the place when you do this. But I try to stay a bit away from the nose. We'll get that all carved out. You see, we got pretty much the majority of it hogged out. There you go. I'm going to take that out, and I'll probably just cut the rest of it out with X-Acto knife or file. And uh, it's pretty easy. All right, now we got a nice fresh blade. It'll be a little easier to cut this out. But with a fresh blade, you just gotta watch yourself. You don't want to go into your into your hand at all. I 
And of course, this is the old, really hard monogram plastic. If you're using a Salvino's kit, this is gonna be a lot easier. Because you remember that old monogram plastic was really, really hard. This is a little bit more difficult doing it on this. Look at how I can break that away. Do you hear that? We sure are cutting the styrene. All right, so we got that all cut out. I'm going to take a little file here. Just kind of file off all the edges there. So we can get a good fit. So there's our nose. Let's see how we fit on in there. It's kind of a tight fit, which is good. You want it to be slightly tight. I'm going to, I see a little spot right here. Just hit it on the bottom of it right there. Just a little bit. I think that will. Oh yeah. Get it right in there. So you want it to be kind of a tight fit. I really didn't have to do much to the grill. I just did a little sand and it seemed to be really tight right there. Um, it wasn't much. Other than that, it pretty much fits right in there. But it's a tight squeeze and that's what you want. Because you want to be able to have a kind of hold position. And you can always put your glue into it. And so there you go. Look at that. You just kind of want to get it looking at all the ends. You want it just slightly recessed. That's Mama? It's a good fit. Good fit. Yep, right about there. Which that's pretty much where it is on the uh, on the real cars. Look at that. How easy was that? Much easier than what, <laughs> what we were all doing in the past then. Now the cool thing about this is what you'd want to do is you'd want to do this before you paint the nose. Of course, obviously you would. This is an old one, just for example, that was already painted up like an old Daryl Waltrip car. What you want to do is you want to put this in and then do your paint and prep and everything because this should be body color. Whatever the color of the nose is, by the color of the car, that grill would be that color because on the real ones, they actually used the street nose um, on those cars they'd get them from Chevrolet this was actually a part of the molded front nose the grill wasn't a separate in, in uh, insert they just painted the whole car and, you know painted the whole nose the whole car and everything so that grill would be body color whatever the main color of the car is and you can go back and watch that video see how I made the screen but there's your screen this is just some screen from a can we get focus here See that screen? It's basically uh, from a hardware store for plumbing. The little screens that are put into the faucets. I always get like these pretty big discs and I can cut what I need. It's perfect size for 25th scale or 24th scale and it's already cut to fit and we lay it in there and look at what we got. I don't really have it glued in but there's your look. Look at that. That's the look we're all going for. See that? See why you want to have a body color? That looks way better. Way better than in my last video. That's super. That is absolutely terrific. So if you want to get yourself some of these, and we'll show the part right here. So simple to do. Don't have to do barely any work. Definitely don't have to do work to the part. Really super easy to do. Just knock them off their little little uh, supports right there, and they just go right in. It's pretty cool. And then you got your screen, and then you got your great looking look that you want. As long as your screen stays. And I haven't glued any of this stuff together, and it fits in there good. So, what a what a super look that is. Isn't that cool? A model comes out, you can talk to the guys who do those kits from the company and say, hey, wouldn't it be cool? And one of them just spits one out. Thanks a lot, Jim. 
Thanks for listening to Everybody Who Wanted This. And that is just a great, I'm going to pop that back out to show you how simple it was. Look at that. Just an easy part to work with. All right. Well, that's about it. We got, that's what I wanted to show you. So there you go. It's an excellent part. Such an easy mod for us to do to make our models just look that much better. So you want one of these grills, you just contact Jim at this email below and he will get you hooked up. Well, that's about all I got to show you. I'm going to have to build a Monte Carlo here real soon to use one of these. Yeah. So like what we always say here, this is me off the camera, Lucas C. Keep gluing those fingers together and keep cutting that styrene. So look at what we get. And we'll see you in the next video. Go out and build model cars. Why the heck would we want to do that? Well, because it's fun. And here's the producers.